Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here. Uh, I started a new series called uh, VMware Daily Tip. And in this quick video, we're going to go over uh, daily tip number one. Uh, but like my blog, I get right to the point. No background music, no fancy intros. Let's just get right to it. So in tip number one, uh, which is listed here, if you go to Twitter, you can always look up this hashtag, uh, hashtag VMware daily tip. You can see the different tips I have out here. Uh, I just simply click on the link. And this tip, we're talking about the uh, compatibility guide or the VMware compatibility guide, also known as the hardware compatibility list. So let's get into it here real quick. There are a lot of tricks here. <clears throat> Now there's different things you can do with this, uh, but most of the time folks are using this to find out whether or not their system is compatible with uh, VMware hardware. Now why is this important? This is important because if you want support and you have a support contract with VMware, your products are going to need to be on the HCL. Additionally, things drop off. Processors change. Different technologies come along. And you need to make sure that your products are compatible with the features and the hardware that you're running. So there are different things you can do here in the HCL. So right now we're looking at systems and servers and how they're all related. We can also look for different CPUs, maybe guest operating systems, uh, different profiles, IO devices such as network controllers, things of that nature. This is primarily where most folks focus. Okay. So if I wanted to know what the ESXi 7.0 has just come out, and if I want to know if a specific uh, system board is going to work, maybe we're looking for an HP DL380, we'll say. Okay. So it went pretty quick there. Let's get in there and just say update results. Okay. We can see right now that uh, the DL380, uh, this Gen 10, okay, with this type of processor, is rated for 7.0. And when I click on it, I can go in and get more details on it. So now not only can I see that uh, this is the Gen 10 server, DL380, this type of processor, information about it, but you can also start to see how it's compatible with which BIOS of the system, which could be important. Okay, You're going to want to look at these notes, read these KB articles, and also go up here and make sure you're reading this, these further notes. Okay, There are additional notes on this <clears throat> server that you're going to want to make sure you're aware of before you go deploying. You might need to upgrade the BIOS. You might need to read this KB article and make sure you have settings right. But it helps guide you to make sure your product is compatible. And this can help reduce those problems and support tickets if you just simply follow the compatibility guide and the information that's behind it. That's how you can find servers. You could also see if a, specific, a specific version to uh, fault tolerance to server is compatible. You can do other sort functions and really sort it out. Okay. In other series, we'll talk about other things, but this is just a really quick daily tip on using the compatibility guide with VMware. If you like what you're seeing here from myself or the, the tips, please hit subscribe below and you'll get more of these as I go along. Thank you. Have a great day.